So we're going to, um, what's his name, Richie's, mm -hmm. Richie's house today. Yeah. No problem. All right, so we're going to Richie's. Uh, he needs help, help taking his hair down, so. What? Yeah, can you help him? What you mean, taking his hair down? He, he got his hair up and he needs to take his hair down. Oh, so, is it a button? Yeah. It's like in braids or something. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know you know what I'm saying? Know, know. Can you help him take it down? Yeah. All right, here we go. Come to top. I know she used to have her hair long. Huh? Yeah. She used to have her hair long? Really? She she wore like with a scissor and no. she got it on even. She cut and it her has, mom had to, had to cut, cut it. it. No bad thing, no bad thing. Ahorita. Okay? Baseball, ahorita. Okay? Adios. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah. All right, today we are here with Darlene and Richie. Richie, say hello. Hello, guys. Um, we're going to ask you guys some personal questions today, and if you don't want to answer it, you can just uh, move on, okay? <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Oh, Darlene, he's taking your hair down. Mm-hmm. She's helping me out. I almost, like, let's say, two hours and a half doing this by myself. Wow, yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do to your hair when you take it down? I'm not sure. I just want to wash it, you know, like... Gonna wash it? Yes. Are you gonna get uh no what do you call that? What, what do you call this in Spanish right here? Trenzas. Trenzas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um d does men does men get extensions in their hair like uh, uh weave sometimes? Sometimes. In the Dominican Republic? Yes. They used to. But they don't uh no one really makes fun of them or nothing like no, that. No, no, doesn't matter. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. How's work going? Uh, everything's going great, thanks God. I think this is a great um, job okay. and a great campaign as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys don't know, Richie, he works at a call center and uh, you like it so far, huh? Yes, yes. The thing I've been doing is really great. And also people right there are also amazing. I really like it. Yeah. When was the first time that you started yeah. learning English? It was back in 2020, let's say January 13, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. In 220, so uh, mm -hmm. that's right around when COVID started. Mm -hmm. What did you? Why, why did you just say, "Hey, today is the day I'm going to start learning how to speak English"? Well, to to be honest, most of my friends they really talk English. You know, they really good. I was the one behind, okay. and I was just watching myself in this situation and condition, and I was kind of wow. In fact, I would like to have the chance just to learn some English, and as soon as I got the chance, I just took took it. You know. And then I started to learn English in a program we have here, which is named English Immersion. But because the COVID-19, everything was really hard. Yes. And then I just was taking some classes online here at home. And everything just just went great. And that's, wow. that's what yeah, I can it's, tell you. It's 2022, and you speak English very well. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. And I appreciate that. You, you speak... Uh, darlene has been speaking, she went to the United States and she can't even speak English as good as you. Mm hmm She's really great. Horrible, horrible. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, just She's really great. Okay, now I'm gonna ask a difficult question. I wanna see what you guys is answering. A difficult question? Is this about math? No, it's not about okay. math. <laughs> Thanks good. Are you good at math? No, I am. No, you're not. not at all. No, you're not. Okay. Are you good at math, Darlene? I don't like math, but I am <laughs> You good at it? As, especially when somebody owes you some money or you need some I try to be very delicate with this question, but when we when you leave out of San Cristobal, on the right hand side, there's a big there's a big statue with a man with his, his hands like this right here. where? In the Mal, on the Malikon. The Malikon. You're talking about a tattoo right now? But I'm not sure did you know the name of that place? No, it's besides the Malecon. It's on the side of the beach. It's on. It's on. Yeah, it's on the right hand side, and there's a picture of a guy with his. I think his hands are covering his face. 
He has his mouth open. And it's a big black statue. Not sure. Did you know about that, my learners? But someone said that say, well. But do you know the name of the? I don't know. It's a statue. Oh, uh, well, Trujillo. Let's say that not a lot of people like to talk about him. You know, they got sensitive and stuff. And sending men out when it comes to Trujillo. But let's say he was a really hard president. He's a really hard president. Yeah, really hard president. But when it comes to economy, everything was going great. Okay, so he was very good for the economy. Yes. He was just bad. Yeah, when, <laughs> when it came down to women and things like that, I heard some things. About yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really bad. And, you know, there, a lot of, there were a lot of matters, if you can say. Yeah, like issues and stuff with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, but he, he defended the country a lot. He it, the only bad thing about him is that he used... He just wanted a real woman for him. And <laughs> when he liked the house, you had to give it him. Yeah, and thanks God, he just not alive. And, you know, I feel bad to say in there. But if you, as you have your, your girlfriend right now, if he just, he just want it, he's going to take it. Oh, really? So if he wanted your girlfriend, your wife, or your daughter, you or something, he would give it He killed you, and then he killed it, her. Yeah. Really? But as far as... For the country, the Dominican Republic, he did a lot of great things for the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like jobs and um, bridges. Yeah, you got both sides. You got the the, the 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 good sides and the bad one. Okay, gotcha. So the ladies, those three, those three women that's on the is it two dollar, two hundred, two hundred, two hundred dollar, yes, two hundred pesos. Las hermanas Mirabal. Mm -hmm. What are their names? Hermanas Mirabal. What happened with him, with Trujillo, and those three women? Well, they didn't agree with them. So they w he was trying to take them, but she, I mean, those girls, they were kind of, let's say, this were, mm, not sure they, how they were, they would fight for their rights. They yes, were like, they uh, were doing kind of, but that it was something we call here. No, what's the word in Spanish? Co Comunismo, I think. not sure. But the thing is that he was trying to get them because they were really beautiful, but at the end, they let's say they fought they tried to fight and they tried to speak up and stand up against yeah, him. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay and then that's how they got killed and they were mur they were murdered uh, was all three of them murdered or just one or two True. all three of them yeah but that there is just one m still alive if you're not mistaken she's a really old woman she was no. the the youngest one yeah they, they, they were four Oh, it was four were, yeah, yes. but the, the most three are dead that they were like the most like recognized. Mm -hmm. But those three, those are the ones that's on the 200 pesos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I forget their name as well. Okay. Sorry. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but I see their picture everywhere in the Dominican Republic. I see they're, uh, they're, they're on the money. Uh, so uh, on the 200 pesos. Is it mm -hmm. two, the 200. Good. So the good part about Trujillo was that he did a lot of great things mm -hmm. for the he country. He did a lot of great things. And but uh, when he wanted something, he was kind of like a dictator. He would take it just because, mm -hmm. just because. So, is there any family members or politicians that are still uh, on the political side with uh, that that uh, that were related to Trujillo? Any any cousins or nephews or anything? Mm -hmm. that, of that course, there there is Trujillo's son's name. I think Ramfis Trujillo, he was trying to become a president. Now he got sort of influence in the government, that sort of thing. But people really, people don't, people don't like him, you they know, not at all because okay. his background, you know. His background. Yeah. Okay. Not yeah, telling you he's a bad person. Right. But, but they think that the he name, will be just mm -hmm. like his father. Dad. Okay. Did he ever win any type of office, like um, the governor or, or any type of politician or anything? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So, um, man, that is, that's a, uh, <laughs> that's a sensitive subject in the Dominican Republic, huh? Yes, I mean, there is a certain amount of people, they team Trujillo was kind of a hero for them. Because Trujillo gave them, let's say, yards away if you need, let's say, a job. And, and he see, like, you really, let's say, he came, he was, let's say, capable to give you the job. Mm -hmm. or let's say opportunity opportunity for you to work they also used to give let's say chances to those poor people and that's why those people still love him but the thing he was doing back in those days was really awful for women yes 
and that's it. That's what I can tell you about him, because I don't really want to die be like really detail. deep. <laughs> yes. You're not the only person like that, because like you said, you don't just go to a party or, or just sit down with people, with a lot of people, and just start talking about Trujillo, because some people like him, and some people might not mm -hmm. like him, and then might, you might start a fight or something, or mm -hmm. a conflict. Like I say, talking about Trujillo is kind of the same when you talk about religion religion or something like that that you know religion thank you that makes sense yeah yeah that makes a lot of sense so you kind of look at religion and trujillo like like it's very sensitive because mm -hmm. some people don't believe in jesus and some people believe in jesus so you just people just have their beliefs and they just keep their beliefs to themselves right of course you're yeah. right. well i mean i think you can but you have to be careful you know it depend those people you're gonna be talking with if you're gonna talk with someone who really know the the the, the history, mm -hmm. you're gonna be fine. But there are people that they in around they don't really know the history. They just got mad because Trujillo and that's it. Right. If you name, if you mention his name, there are people that are gonna you know they're gonna get mad and then they're gonna tell you why are you talking about Trujillo. Nobody likes it. But there are people that really know the history. They can dive really deep into it. They can tell you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. Uh, your grandfather said something about he didn't really like Haitians too much, right? No, at all. No, he didn't like Haitians. So, yeah, he, he didn't really care for Haitians too much. Was it a war? He didn't even let them in the country. Oh, okay, so he wanted to keep a lot of the Haitians out of the country. And kill them. Yeah. And kill them, really? Yes. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Wow, that's, that was, that subject right there. And uh, I think, I think he, he killed a lot of people. That's why people know him. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, but he really did a whole bunch of good things for the Dominican Republic. Thank y'all so much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. No. Can, can you say Trujillo? Trujillo. 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 Three through. Through. Like through. Like going through. Through. Mm -hmm. Trujillo. 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 Yo. Mm -hmm. Through. Trujillo. Yo. That's okay. <laughs> That's right. You did a great job, though. Bye, y'all. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> Wave, everybody. Bye.